everyone, this is Kazia. I'm very excited to announce that one of my MA student members has made it for publication in second language research, one of the top tier journals in the field of applied linguistics. In this video, I'd like to share a little bit about this exciting news and the details of the project. So this is one of my MA students, Chao Kun Chen's MA dissertation project, which has resulted in publication in second language research. The title of the paper is Successful Second Language Pronunciation Learning is Linked to precise auditory processing rather than music aptitude. Very importantly, this paper has got open access. What this means is that you can go to the website and you can get a free copy. I have posted a link on the YouTube comment, so please go to the website. So what is the Chalkin's MA dissertation that she did back in 2019? Her research question was very, very simple. What is a key factor of successful second language speech learning? Many people have believed that what matters is music aptitude. If you're musically talented, you should be able to master second language pronunciation. How do researchers measure music aptitude? This is the way which is very common in music education as well as cognitive psychology. Please listen to these two musical notes and tell me whether they are different or similar. The answer is they are different. In another popular format, you listen to one musical note, you will be asked to repeat it. The precision of your repetition will be scored. But as you can see here, this kind of test format requires you to engage in so many different skills, not just only about listening to music, but also you need to memorize and also you need to concentrate on the differences and similarities between these two musical notes. Therefore, if you take a look at existing literature on the relationship between second language speech learning and music aptitude, findings are actually really mixed. Therefore, my research team and Chao Kun have decided to develop a new hearing test battery based on the first language acquisition that's solely about measuring auditory sensitivity slash processing. So what is it? It's the ability to encode very subtle differences in basic acoustic information. For example, this is how we measure auditory sensitivity slash processing. Please listen to these two speech sounds. Please tell me whether they are similar or different. <laughs> they are actually different because we manipulated one certain frequency information, which is called the second format. This kind of auditory sensitivity such processing is a very important source of individual variation among first language toddlers in terms of their development as well as delay. So this is what Chao Kun did. So she recruited 50 international students at IOE. All these participants took the three tests. One is the pronunciation, second music aptitude, finally auditory processing. Findings work straightforward. Basically, it's auditory processing rather than music aptitude that can predict the incidence of successful second language speech learners. In other words, those who perform very well in pronunciation tests tended to have more precise auditory sensitivity slash processing abilities. So let me share with you the stories behind the scene. This is how we did it. Chako and I met for the first time April 2019, and we did a two meetings within the month. In May, we had a third meeting, June, fourth meeting, July fifth meeting. As you can see from here, this is the very tight schedule for MA dissertation at IOE. Basically, you have only April, May, June, July, four months to go to collect the data, analyze the data, and write up the paper. She did it all with a fantastic quality. I was very much impressed by her academic skills. But very importantly, Chao Kun did not stop there. She continued to persuade me to further work on the, the manuscript so that we could submit to some scholarly journal. So including my colleague, Adam Tinery, we worked very hard spending four months from January to April. We rewrote the paper, turning it into a one scholarly paper. We were able to submit it to a second language research. Again, this is a top tier journal, very well known for its focus on interdisciplinary work between applied linguistics, linguistics, and psychology. So we thought that journal would be a perfect fit for this paper. And we submitted the paper in May. After waiting for several months, we heard back from the journal and we got a major review. So what this means is that uh, three reviewers really liked our paper, but there were a lot of issues. Therefore, we were given this opportunity to revise and respond to all these concerns. 
after one another round of peer review, we got a minor revision. And again, we worked hard. And finally, just last month, our paper was accepted for publication. And it went through the very smooth production process. So now it's published online. I just want to emphasize that our team has been quite productive. So for example, 2019 to 2020, our student members have been very successful in publications. My PhD student, Yui Suzuki-da, she made it for language teaching research. Our postdoc member, Pui San, made it for studies in second language education. Finally, a MA student supervised by my colleague, Adam Tinnery, she made it for publication in brain and language. All these achievements are fabulous. And if you're ambitious and passionate about research, please contact me and join my research team at University of London. My team has featured a range of faculty and student members studying, working at UCL and Birkbeck College, University of London. Thank you, Thank you so much for watching. I hope to continue to share some good news with you in 2021. So once again, congratulations to Chao Kun Zen. You really did it. Thank you.